Is that good? Is that good? All right. I'm not feeling too good right now because my parents are getting a divorce. And I'm scared because I don't know who am I gonna live with now. There's gonna be a custody battle. Because neither one of them want me. I love my dad. He used to be a professional wrestler in Mexico. It was cool growing up with him because when he hit us, he didn't really hit us. We got plan the cabrón. Ah, ma, touch my hand. On Easter, my dad would take us to the park to go look for other people's eggs. Those kids would be upset. Those are our eggs. No, they're not fool. We found them. One time, the burglars broke into our house and they couldn't find nothing to steal. So they woke us up to make fun of us. Man, you guys don't have the cops showed up, man, they took everything. I said, yeah, man, they even took electricity. <laughs> Pay the check. <laughs> I like going to bars and restaurants with white people because they will fight over who's gonna pay that bill. Tom, I got this one. You go to a bar or restaurant with Latinos, that check comes, I'll be back, eh? That check falls, we push it like a Ouija board. <laughs> you win, dog. <laughs> we always pick it up like a, like a whale. Listen up, people. Hear ye, hear ye. Three tacos, that's you, fool. <laughs> Mister, I don't think they charge for refills <laughs> over here. <laughs> and Latinos always look at the check like there's something wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's some <laughs> here. Who ordered gratuity? <laughs> Did you order gratuity? <laughs> I got into a car accident, man. You ever, ever, ever get into a car accident with someone else that doesn't have insurance either? <laughs> you guys just look at each other. <laughs> what you wanna do, homie? You wanna just take off or what? All right, man, let me just pick up my bumper. <laughs> if you don't have insurance, just grab any paper out of your car like it's insurance. You got insurance? <laughs> don't tell him it's insurance, just flash it. You got insurance? <laughs> that fool just say, nah, man, it's cool. And you, you never know, man, your jack-in-the-box receipt can save your life. <laughs> the worst is when you hit a paisa, a Mexican guy that's been here three days, they come out like it's your fault. Me pegaste this way! And it's gonna f you! <laughs> you start speaking English, they get scared. Hey, cabrón, you have insurance? Hey, cabrón, take it easy. I fixed your car right here, mijo. Lo dejo bien machín. When a Mexican says, the s will get done. No, mijo, tu car va a estar bien machín. His friends came out the same door. When I got to my car, my house, my, my car was full of duct tape. But it looked machine. I grew up in the hood. When we talk, we answer our own questions. Hey, can I borrow five bucks? Yeah. Why not? Because I'm broke, huh? Hey, did you sleep with that girl last night? Nah. I gotta lose weight, man. I got stretch marks on my stomach. Oh, you didn't see it? Oh. I got stretch marks on my stomach. I never had a baby. So now when I take off my shirt in front of women, I tell them that I was attacked by a mountain lion. You should have seen this cat. <laughs> She took off her clothes. I said, man, we better find these cats. <laughs> you know it's time to lose weight when the girl starts sucking your <laughs> At first I was shy. No, I'm not like that. <laughs> now I'm like, both of them puta. <laughs> Pinch them, pull my hair, call me Carla. <laughs> and I got hair on my nipples. She's sucking and flossing. 
four out of five dentists have recommended me. I'm f out of shape, man. My friend had a threesome. He was all happy. I was all sad. I could never have a threesome. This is not a threesome body. This is a turn off the lights body. Leave your shirt on body. This is a tell nobody. If I ever get a chance for a threesome, I'm gonna have a meeting with those two girls. <laughs> Listen up, ladies. One of you guys here might not get a turn. <laughs> so pick a number one to 10. The pretty one said, 17, you win. The ugly girl said, what do I do? You're gonna be pushing my ass. Your hamburger helper. It's hard to lose weight. I joined 24 Hour Fitness, nothing happened, just my credit is ruined. <laughs> Why would I join the gym for two years if I skipped two years of PE in high school? <laughs> they lie to you when you join the gym. They don't tell that when you join, you're never gonna find parking there for the rest of your life. I lost more weight walking to the gym. When I got to the gym, I was all rosado. <laughs> Had the mean baby rash. They asked me, you wanna work out? No, man, give me a ride to my car. <laughs> my friend lied to me, he gave me flour. By the time I walked back to my car, I had cookies. <laughs> Chocolate chip. <laughs> it's hard to lose weight because everybody cooks with canola oil, vegetable oil, corn oil. I'm Mexican, we cook with lard. <laughs> Manteca, 5,000 calories per serving. My mom would put manteca on everything. Bacon, eggs, ham, chorizo. I had a heart attack when I was 12. <laughs> I remember playing kickball. What the <laughs> Kill the teacher! <laughs> I didn't know the heart attack. I thought I was turning into Spider-Man. <laughs> My dad was too cheap to take me to a doctor. He took me to a sobador. A Salvador is a Mexican chiropractor with no degrees. You go there for a bad back, when you leave, you can't move your neck. At least I'm wearing my size right now. Extra large with 40, it fits. Not like some of you ladies that go out to clubs, you know who you are. What mirror are you looking at? If you're a size eight, wear a size eight. Don't wear a size four. <laughs> you walk into the club with long hats right here, fat over here, double breast chichis back here. Walking around like a big piece of Play-Doh. Every step you take is a different shape. You drop something, leave it there. On the way out, you're too lazy to pick it up. That's my purse, leave it alone. You start dancing with her, she turns into the Matrix. <laughs> you take this woman home, she unbutted one button, she opens up like a life raft. <laughs> Pikachu! Come back from the restroom all horny. What the hell? <laughs> Where you two fools come from? <laughs> you lied to me. One of you guys might not get a turn. <laughs> this look right here is very non threatening. This look doesn't say I'm gonna beat your ass. This look says I'm gonna smoke all your. This look says, I'm gonna borrow 20 bucks in five minutes. <laughs> the police, they come and smoking weed, man. I couldn't say nothing but, oops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Let me tell you, man, when you're in the back of the police car, you kiss a lot of ass. Hey, officer, thank you for opening the door for me. <laughs> I used to want to be a cop, sir. I used to be an explorer. This is my second ride along. <laughs> I 
I got pulled over for drunk driving, but I wasn't drunk driving. I was coked out. I come out of the car paranoid. What's the problem here, officer? He goes, what is wrong with your mouth? I just took my braces off. He goes, why were you speeding? I don't do speed, just go. I did speed one time, I broke into 37 houses. I didn't steal nothing, I cleaned them. He goes, can you walk the straight line? Another one. Well, you're asking. <laughs> I used to do so much coke, when I went to the ATM, the $20 would come out rolled up. I don't really like coke, I like the way it smells. <laughs> I had to stop partying with Armenians and Persian people. Not because of 9-11, their nose is too long. Every Friday, these fools hijack my coke. My friend, no more. Hey, you and Muhammad, Allah, chingada. You ever do so much coke, man, you call the cops on yourself? You better hurry up, man. The care bears are trying to kill me! <laughs> oh, man. You ever give the cop a wrong name and that wrong name has more warrants than you? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> sir, give me another chance! <laughs> I, I hate getting loaded because I always do bad <laughs> Bad <laughs> That's the, I hate when you do bad <laughs> and people want to tell you. We don't want to know. That's the whole point of getting loaded, not to remember. <laughs> I wish one day you get loaded, pass out, and do nice things. Damn, bro, you got loaded last night, man. You cleaned the house. <laughs> you made nachos. <laughs> nah, it's always bad. Damn, bro, you got loaded last night, bro. You <laughs> burned my house down. <laughs> you made out with my tia, dog. <laughs> you took a crap on the cat litter, bro. Oops. <laughs> Imagine waking up to a, <laughs> and a cat litter with a big set out there right there. <laughs> hey baby, what you feeding the cat? <laughs> Lion King showed up. <laughs> ha -na, ha -na. <laughs> I met my daughter on MySpace. <laughs> yeah. I swear. I didn't really meet her, I added her as a friend. <laughs> she be leaving me hating comments. Hey dad, we didn't get the child support again. I'm like, mija, don't be hitting my page, I'm gonna block your ass. <laughs> There's a lot of beautiful women on MySpace. A lot of chubby women too. They take those photos to have the fat looking up. They're like hiding behind a tree. Oh, they just bring all the blankets. <laughs> this is me, don't hate bitches. <laughs> there are people gang banging on the internet. Some cholo hits me up on Yahoo. Where you from, puto? <laughs> I was all scared. <laughs> I even sent him a scared smiley. <laughs> that fool did a drive-by virus. Website! When I get bored, you know what I do? I tear down all the lost pet signs in my neighborhood and I call them one by one. <laughs> hello, somebody here wants to say hello. Meow! <laughs> Meow! <laughs> Help! <laughs> White people, they lose their pets, they go crazy. Mexicans, we never know our pets are gone till they bite somebody. <laughs> hey, bro, Lobo's over here. Damn, he made it far this time. <laughs> White people, they don't like to 
<laughs> Pets no more, they take them to the pound and put them to sleep. That's sad. <laughs> Mexicans, we take a dog to the park and leave them there. <laughs> Hey man, you ever leave your dog somewhere and that food made it back? <laughs> You're like, all right, f you earned it. You can stay now. <laughs> He's all mad. <laughs> Mexicans, we never buy our dog dog food. He eats what we eat. <laughs> dog <laughs> eating chile rellenos. <laughs> what's hurting? <laughs> <laughs> he likes it, bro. Here, eat a tom f <laughs> Eat some Pepto Bismo, Pinchy Bell of Hell. <laughs> it sucks that when your dad comes in, hey man, you gotta <laughs> get rid of the dog. <laughs> Alright, that joke sucked. <laughs> when a joke doesn't work for a comedian, you know what that feels like? It feels like you're watching a stripper and then she falls. <laughs> I went to a ghetto haunted house. Ghetto. Let me tell you people, you want to go to a real haunted house, go to the Alexandra Hotel next time. Don't go to a Universal City. Boom, 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 boom. At this place, it has cholo scaring you in every door. What puto? You want to get shot? Scary, man. My chick came out with hickeys. Somebody stole a stroller. <laughs> Don't you hate that, guys, when you finally meet the crazy chick of the neighborhood? She's been with everyone. Now it's your turn. And now she's not like that anymore. I'm not like that, no boy. You're special. No, I'm last. I went over this girl. I spent 85 bucks on her that I bought for my little sister. She said, we don't have to do nothing. We can just hug. Hug? We go in Iraq or what? I thought I'd hug her and choke her for 85 bucks. Because let me tell you, ladies, if you spend 85 bucks on me, I'm gonna give it up. <laughs> hey, come in your fashion. <laughs> you spend a dollar on me. <laughs> That's a Latino word. Hey, did you get some? <laughs> no, I went home alone. <laughs> So what I do now, if I know I'm not getting nowhere on the way to the restaurant, I'll just start touching myself. The girl looks at me, what are you doing, you pervert, saving money? <laughs> so now I live in Hollywood, I go out with gay men. It's okay, those guys know how to treat a man. <laughs> this guy took me dancing, the movies. At the end of the night, he wants to get crazy with me. I said, hey, I'm not like that no more. <laughs> You're special. I could say that joke because my brother's gay. He gave me the pink light. <laughs> it's kind of weird, you know, to have a gay brother because my brother's good looking. I mean, he is the bomb. He could have any woman he wants. He wants a man. That <laughs> pisses me off. That's like having Superman powers, but you don't want to rescue nobody. <laughs> I'm having lunch with my brother and his gay boyfriend shows up. I can't stand this fool. This fool is nasty. My brother could do better. <laughs> they start making out in front of me. Then I look like a like gay guy. Oh, hell no. Let's go. People were looking at me, feeling sorry for me. Oh, look, that fat gay third wheel. <laughs> Somebody should hook him up. Women look at my brother and they get upset. Oh my God, he's gay? <laughs> what a waste. I say, hey, I'm not gay. What a shame. <laughs> you see, ladies, I know I am not a hot guy. I am what you ladies call rebound material. <laughs> this is what you get on a night someone ruins your life. <laughs> when you give up on hope. <laughs> when your last words are, you <laughs> just leave me here. I come out of the bushes, what happened? <laughs> Hey, 
I am Captain Save a You're at the bar, sad. My boyfriend cheated on me. What? You serious? What a loser he is. He don't love you the way I love you, mija. Because see, women never wake up happy with me. They wake up surprised. <laughs> with my phone! I'm like naked, wearing a Nacho Libre mask. <laughs> Baby, I made you a hot pocket. I mean, one time I was having sex with a real big girl. Well, many times, but this time I remember. She was on top of me, I kept hearing <laughs> I was embarrassed. I was gonna ask you, is that me or you? <laughs> Finally I gave up, I tapped out. <laughs> Come on, Mika, let's go eat, eh? I didn't know I didn't know how big she was till she got off me. She put on my t-shirt, my underwear, she was walking to the restroom. I was looking at her. I thought I died. I thought I was having an out-of-body experience. <laughs> that was funny, huh? That was my best joke. The rest suck now. Nah. You guys know that the guy who wrote the song, The Hokey Pokey, died? They couldn't close his casket. Every time they put a right foot in, he put a left foot out. <laughs> That's funny, huh? <laughs> that one of those jokes that somebody emailed me. Oh, this sh Okay, who has it to this? Oh, man. I realized I'm, I'm single, ladies. Not by choice. Her choice! <laughs> right now, I'm involved in a long distance relationship. Well, I call it long distance. She calls it a restraining order. <laughs> I'm afraid to talk to women, so just look at them. So they get scared. One time the girl kept looking back at me like this. I told my friend, what should I do? Get off the sidewalk. I realized why I don't have a girlfriend right now, because I'm too funny. I used to be with some girl, she was beautiful, but she had a patch on her eye. She got mad at the movie theater. Is this movie ready PG? No, you pirate! It's really <laughs> She started crying for one night. I tried getting a discount because she only saw half of the movie. She said, I never want to see you, you ass. So put the patch on the other eye. Right now, we don't see eye to eye. Today I was crying at IHOP. Come on, Arlene. <laughs> Give me another chance. Let's patch things up now. <laughs> Can't you see? You're my brown eye girl. <laughs> you know you only have eye for me. <laughs> How come women leave you doing the same thing? You're never gonna find no one like me. I hope not. <laughs> I don't think there's two pirates out there. But I'll keep an eye out for you. <laughs> I have a CD. I only have three CDs, because I didn't make it home last night. Most of the money will go for drugs and alcohol. <laughs> anyway. But the money will stay in the community. Thank you very much, Felipe Farzad.